Hi friends, thanks for stopping by the channel today. Okay, and here is where we're running into issue. So whether it's Windows 10, Windows 11, and however you get here, whether you, whether it's a BitLocker issue or whatever issue you're having, and you, you decide to reinstall your operating system, and you get to this point. So basically what this is saying that it cannot find the drive we're going to need this because we're going to put the files on this rapid storage technology so it's basically called rst for short uh rapid storage technology okay so let's choose this one now depends on your machine if your machine is a tent to 11 generation then you can install this right off which is what mine is it's a 10th it's a 11th generation and uh, you could just scroll down just make sure of course that you're on the legit intel site scroll, scroll down and download the setup rst.exe however it could be that your machine if you have a newer machine if you have a newer machine on the top corner here it says drivers and software click that and then you can actually type the driver in in the search field or in my case i just i scroll down and i look for memory and storage click on storage and it's going to show you newer version so here you have a 12 to 13 gen here you have 12 to 15 gen and if you keep scrolling down, uh, here you have the 10th gen. So that's the one we saw earlier. And then you even have a, you have an eighth to ninth gen. So again, depends on the platform, depends on your generation, what CPU you're running. So in this case, I can use 10 and 11 gen. So, okay, you click on that. Then you're going to click on download so your regular download it's gone up there it's downloading it's a small file it's already done and this is by default it's going to download it to my download folder so i can come down here and go to downloads so that's it so you're looking for setup rst that's the file of course this is an executable We'll need to extract this. There are files in there that we need. So in order to extract this, you're going to have to use a, a command prompt and run this as administrator. But we don't want to just run it personal. You could run it into download, but personally, I just want it to, to be a little easier. And so that things are a little bit straightforward for you. So what I'm going to do, and I would suggest you do the same too, is to... Copy this file from where it is, and I'm gonna move this into. You know, you could move it also. I'm gonna put it into my C drive. So open up C, and you can just right click and paste it anywhere here. So paste. It may come up and say you need admin per permission. Just click continue. Okay. So now I have my setup RST in my C drive or wherever you put it. If yours is, is D or G or E, just put it to a location where you have, where you can access it, access it easily. Doesn't have to be in your main drive. It's just as long as you know where to find it when you go to run, run it from command prompt. Okay. So next step is you're going to run your command so you can just type cmd in your search and your command right click on command prompt and you need to run this as administrator right so say yes okay let's close out all the other things we don't need okay so right now you you're going to be in c windows system 32 uh, you want to run this from the root or you want to run this from C drive, not from system 32. Because remember, 
in, in this is in my case and maybe your case depends on where you put that file so i want to go back right back down to see where this file is so a quick way to do this is a cd space dot dot and then you enter takes you to windows you can go cd space dot dot and now it takes you to your C drive. And we can double check that we are in the right folder, right? Or the right drive. So I do a DIR. And if you scroll down and you see right there, setup rst.txt. And this is important because we're gonna run a we're gonna give send a command to extract the file. So we want to be sure that we are in the correct folder, right? So so just for the sake of him, I'm going to put the actual, the path or, or the, the file, the path, the link that you're going to send or the script that you're going to write and send it to the command. So it is setup rst.txt space uh, dash extract drivers, one word space rst in uppercase i'll put this in the comment field below so you don't have to worry about that for now okay so i'm going to copy that and paste it right at c so again double check that it's uppercase the case is important also and then i'm going to just press enter it's going to come up with uh it's actually extracting this you will see the intel uh, logo flash up quickly okay so what this has done it's extracted and where did it extract it it extracted it in c so we can minimize this and close that out and if you go back to c or wherever you extract it based on where you store that where you download or move that um, setup rst so if you notice the difference here, and you will see that in your location too, I have a new folder called RST. What I need from this folder, I'll show you what I need. So we'll go, we'll click going down, we go to production, need to go down a little further, Windows 10, in this case, 15063, keep going, drivers, keep going. And this is where we need, this is file, we need this file VMD. So I need this VMD folder to be on my Windows install disk, our USB drive. So I'm going to put this in my, I'm going to put this in my, in my laptop here. This laptop is a, over the side, it's got a USB-C. Okay, so this 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 file is now being loaded. Uh, this this drive is loaded as D, so I'm gonna find it. But before I go, I'll just I'll just right click this and do copy, copy, and then I'll go and look for. I'll go to this PC, and I have the drive that I just plugged in, and I'm gonna open that. And I'm just going to copy. So this is your Windows um, disk, your Windows install disk. And I'm just going to paste it there, right? Yeah, it'll install. So once that's installed, I can close this out. Uh, the proper thing to do with these is to right click and eject the USB disk mm. so you don't get it corrupted okay good to go and once that's done you can remove this now we've got the file we need so move that away and i can go back to my computer that i need to set up because if you notice in the first i started out with showing you that the, the driver it could not find the drive okay so we're back where we left off Except this time we're we're more prepared. Okay, so you're gonna do the same old, same old. Next, install. 
And yours may look a little different because I'm using them. This is an older Windows Zim ISO image there for Windows 10. So you scroll down, you accept it. Just a regular thing. In this case, do a custom install. Okay, and we're back at the same place. However, now we are prepared. So this time we're gonna go into load drivers. And we have our, our USB disk in, we have our file, we're gonna go browse, and then you're gonna go, in my case, this is showing up as C. So I'll open that folder, and I scroll down and I see VMD. Double click on VMD, then go OK. And you want to take the first option. This is this file. This is the Intel RST VMD controller. It's a 9A0B. All right. So that's what I need. Okay. So you're going to go, once you have that highlighted, you can go next. And from here on, once it recognizes it and say, yeah, we found your drive, it's just a regular setup in the full quantity. Yes. And it will automatically format it and set it up. And this is these partitions are okay. So again, once you get here, you're good to go. You just continue installing Windows. And that's it, guys. So if you're having that issue where Windows in the install whether it's windows 10 or windows 11 and your drive is not being recognized this is how if you're if you're running a, a intel base uh computer whether it's laptop or desktop this is how you can download that even file from intel put it on your boot and you install disk and get yourself in action again so thank you for watching hopefully this was useful and helpful to you please remember to like to share and to subscribe